Is Proxima B another Earth? It's challenging to respond, because no one has actually seen this far-off planet that revolves around red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. By observing the regular subtle changes in the color of Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.2 light years away from Earth, scientists have simply concluded that Proxima B is exactly where it should be. Hello and welcome to my channel, Spaceverse. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon to never miss a notification whenever I upload a new video. In 2016, astronomers reported that they had discovered an Earth-like planet in the so-called Goldilocks zone of our neighboring solar system, which refers to regions of space where it is neither too hot nor too cold for water to exist, something that would allow for the possibility of life. Proxima b is the name of the planet that revolves around Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star. This exoplanet is as close to us as it could possibly be, according to Lee Billings, an editor for Scientific American who covers space and physics. That is what excites him about this discovery, he says. We know there are many planets in the universe, the Milky Way alone contains quadrillions of planets. According to statistics, every single star has a planet, and now this is indicating that there might be a habitable planet right next door. Proxima b, however, is different from Earth in a number of ways. For one thing, its year is only 11 days long. That seems absurd because, despite the fact that we are in a 365-day orbit around the Sun, the star in question is much, much smaller and cooler than our Sun, according to Billing. Our star would resemble a small Christmas tree light if it were a 50-watt bulb. As a result, events like flares occur, which emerge from the star and strike this planet's atmosphere if it has one and may result in issues. But theoretically, it might be inhabited by creatures similar to you and me. Proxima b is right next door to Earth, but it is still 4.2 light years or about 20 trillion miles away. However, Billings claims that some private businesses are already attempting to determine how to achieve it. The James Webb Space Telescope Webb was the result of years of work by NASA scientists and engineers when it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021. The many steps of the telescope's deployment in the months that followed also went off without a hitch. Webb released its stunning initial images in mid-July. We were able to see almost every aspect of our universe, even the farthest galaxies, in greater detail with the aid of the infrared telescope, giving us a window into the past. The editors of the journal Science released a statement saying that within days of coming online in late June 2022, researchers began discovering thousands of new galaxies more distant and ancient than any previously documented, some perhaps more than 150 million years older than the oldest identified by Hubble. While Nature selected Jane Rigby, the operations project scientist for Webb, to be included in their list of the 10 people who helped shape science stories for 2022, the journal named Webb as its science breakthrough of 2022. The telescope can also gather enough light from astronomical objects, such as exoplanets and forming stars, to reveal their composition and their trajectories through space, according to the editors of Science. This data has already started to reveal in great detail the atmospheric composition of planets hundreds of light years from Earth, offering hints as to their potential to support life as we know it, the study's authors write. The exoplanets In the 1990s, astronomers made the first exoplanet discoveries. As of today, more than 3,000 extrasolar planets are known to exist. However, only about a dozen of these have been directly imaged. The majority of exoplanets are so far away that they can only be seen when their host star's light dims as the planet passes in front of it. Webb, however, could alter that. It first obtained a direct image of an exoplanet in September 2021. Sasha Hinckley, an astronomer at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom who led these observations, stated in a statement that this is a transformative moment, not only for Webb but also for astronomy generally. Webb was designed to observe the universe's farthest galaxies, and in mid-December, researchers announced that they had successfully done so. The four galaxies that have been officially observed by the telescope are also the oldest galaxies. When the universe was only 350 million years old, or about 2% of its present age, Webb observed the galaxies as they first appeared around 13.4 billion years ago. As an infrared telescope, Webb has the advantage of looking through dust to reveal objects that are hidden from other telescopes like Hubble, which primarily use visible light. A region of intense star formation, which scientists say is producing stars 20 times faster than in our own galaxy, was visible in an image of two galaxies colliding that Webb took that Hubble had missed. Uncertainties According to Loeb, a rocky planet like Proxima b would absorb light from its star and re-emit it as infrared light if it had an atmosphere. By the way, the James Webb Space Telescope was created specifically to study infrared light. 
Proxima b's surface can be photographed using infrared light by the James Webb Space Telescope, which is looking for patterns that would indicate whether or not this exoplanet has water or an atmosphere. But things aren't that easy. The suggested approach was feasible, but there are other things to take into account. For instance, according to Princeton University astronomer Ed Turner, the presence of an atmosphere may not be a guarantee of life. With an atmosphere 90 times thicker than ours and intense heat, Proxima b might be like Venus. However, the only possibility we have for a glimmer of an explanation about this Earth next door was Loeb and Kriedberg's plan. Since Proxima b orbits 20 times closer to its star than Earth does the Sun, it might seem like it likes to live dangerously. But the surprising thing about this is that the energy levels that Proxima b receives from Proxima Centauri are comparable to those that our planet receives. The existence of water and the possibility of liquid oceans, possibly as large as those on Earth, have convinced scientists that life, at least life as we know it, might be possible. After methane-eating bacteria were discovered right here on Earth, you never know what might be out there. You can see where this is going because Titan, a moon of Saturn, is covered in lakes of methane and ethane. Whether or not Proxima b has an atmosphere will probably determine whether or not it is a hotbed for life. It would require an atmosphere that could withstand 400 times the amount of x-rays that are directed at Earth. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. If you found the video informative, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon in my next video. Thanks for watching.